Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to Grotesque Beauty. Previously, we admired our painting, perhaps a little too closely. So we last left off. Sacrifice Rachel, sacrifice Anina, let's just leave. Be like, hey, let's nah. Nah, see you later. You were always brave, Anna, in everything you did. When I first started school, it was a scary place. New surroundings, and so many people. From our small household, this was a different beast. I remember how I felt so small in my first days. When it came time for you to join, I was wondering, worried how you'd fit it. I didn't need to worry, though. You were fearless. You instantly made friends and never hid in your shell. I admired that about you. It made me so proud to see my sister so strong. I'm sorry, Anna. I'm going to need to continue being strong. You don't know how much we all miss you, and I'm thankful we got to see each other again, if only for a short while. But I can't betray Anita. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Knowing the suffering I've been through and losing someone close, and I can't put someone else through that. Plus your mouth and eyes are ridiculously huge compared to mine. In fact, your head is in general. No, Rachel! You can't! Please don't leave me in here! I'm sorry, I just can't do what you're asking me. Please understand. Rachel, don't leave me here. I'll die. You're the only one who can save me. Don't make this any harder for me. I won't give up on you, Hannah. I'll come get you someday. I will find a way. The glowing surface of the painting flickers as if the strength of the portal between the two worlds was weakening. Hannah looked at me with desperation. Just give me Anita. It won't be hard. You don't have time anymore. The room trembled and the glowing window shrank smaller as the portal started to close. Hannah... She just stared back without a word. The tremors rattle on and suddenly stops abruptly. The bright room was plunged into darkness as a strong gust of wind blasted out of the painting. When I opened my eyes, I saw that I was back in the living room. The painting was blank and the doorway was shut. I held my head in my hands, choking back the tears. My hand touches my shoulder. For a split second, I expected to turn and see Hannah, but found Anita standing over me. Rachel, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? You don't look too great. You disappeared into that mist for some time and I couldn't see or hear from you. What happened in there anyway? Well first, I'm gonna save the game. I meant to click that gear in the bomb right. He knew he had to save the game in case he messed up or did something wrong. For every time he did something wrong, something bad would happen. Implied by him saying, if he did something wrong, something bad would happen, creating some kind of weird logic loop that he kept repeating based on narration. Tell her. I saw Hannah. She was inside the painting. What? How can that be possible? I don't know. It seems the painting is a portal to another place, like a wormhole or something. Are you sure? It's her. So she's alive then? Seems like it. Thank God. Did she say anything? Not really. Really? She didn't say what happened to her? She didn't seem to remember. Doesn't matter anyway. She's gone. Again. Unless you were part of it somehow, Anita. Maybe she was right. Maybe we should have thrown you in. I'm so sorry, Rachel. You've been through so much pain. I wish... I wish I could help you carry the pain, but I'm too much of a coward. It's okay. She squeezes my shoulder as we share a quiet moment. We barely get time to recollect ourselves when the immediacy of our situation catches back to us. That sound, it's still there! Did you go see what it was? I think his eyes widen. I totally forgot about it for a second. I was too worried about you all this time. We need to check it out. Okay, just don't do anything crazy like before, alright? I was so scared when you left me by myself. It won't happen again. Come on, let's get going. Cautiously, we sneaked upstairs, approaching the bedroom of Anita's parents, the source of the peculiar noise we've heard all night. Just be like a cat. It's like... Like, yes, most visual novels are in that format, but for some reason I keep thinking of the Goosebumps Choose Your Scare books. They always had like this kind of premise, usually something like you got stuck. Stuck in the jungle. 
stuck in the haunted museum, stuck in the, the comic world. So that's what I'm thinking of this. The hair on the back of my neck pricks up as we find ourselves outside the closed door. Who knows what we'll find inside? After what I've witnessed so far tonight, I was afraid what the answer might be. Pressing an ear gently to the door, I listened intently. Anything? Shh, keep it down. I can't hear anything. Hopefully it means nothing's inside. We should just leave it and go back to our room. Don't be a coward. We need to be sure nothing's wrong. Okay, get ready. I'm going in. I slowly turned the handle and pushed the door open. Anita was clinging to my arm as she appeared over my shoulder. We both gasped at the same time. Oh, uh, crap, it's animated. I have expected to see nothing out of the ordinary. The other part of me was praising to see a scary monster waiting to grab us. What I didn't expect to find was a stranger in the house sprawled naked on the floor. She scrambled desperately to create some distance between us and herself. Her wide open eyes were fixed on us. She, she seems just as scared and surprised as we were. Who are you? What's going on? Where am I? I broke out of the huddle Anita and I consciously formed. Evidently there was no immediate danger to us. Or is there? I could ask her the same thing. Who are you and how did you get in here? The mysterious woman continued to scream. She was in no condition to answer our questions. Then he stepped forward to try to reassure her, holding up both hands as a sign of amity. It's okay, it's okay. Please don't shout. Try to relax. You're not in any danger. No one's gonna hurt you. This is a safe place. Yes, that's right. We're not here to hurt you. You can trust us, so please calm down. The woman seemed convinced by her earnest pleading and regained control of herself. You see, everything's gonna be alright. We're all friends here. Are you, Anita? We'll take care of you. The woman calmed down and relaxed. Now that she was more composed, it struck me how beautiful she was. Her petite figure resembled a flower. Her skin was soft and fair as she wore a pearl shell. Her jet black hair was smooth and glistened in the cold air. She was a beauty I had never seen before. These details were not lost on Anita as I saw her react with a blush. My name's Anita. This is my house. That's Rich over there. She's a good friend of mine. What's your name? The strange woman sat up slowly, still carrying a look of confusion. I, I don't have a name. You don't have a name? I mean, I don't remember one. That's okay. It's not too important right now. Can you tell us what happened to you now that you got here? I, I don't remember that either. I don't remember a lot of things. I do remember a strange place full of smoke. I was trapped there for the longest time. The painting. You mean the painting downstairs? That's right. She's the girl from the painting. I totally recognize her. I and I share a glance. Everything bad seems to be connected to that damn painting. I think I was kidnapped. What? There was a man. I've never seen him before. I don't know what he wanted. He put me inside the painting. Maybe that was actually her sister. And she really was just like twisted based on the life she lived there. They just he's just capturing, like he's just throwing women in her like nonstop. It's like Like look at my collection of women trapped in this painting world. But then he sold it. You'd think he wanted to keep it unless he can just make more paintings. It turned out that it leads to another world. A world that's dark and more terrible than this one. I was lost in there for a long time. I don't know exactly how long. It's hard to tell the passage of time once you're inside. There's no night or day. It's hard to tell what's up and what's down. There's nothing to ground yourself with. That sounds horrible, you poor thing. How did you escape? I'm sorry. That's another thing I can't remember. I don't know what happened to my memory. Maybe I had something to do with being locked up in that place for such a long time. I just remember wandering that strange land forever, and the next thing I know, I'm here. I may not know how I got here, but I'm so glad that I'm free at last. Whoever put me in there was a bad man. I'm scared of what he will do when he finds out that I've escaped. Please, you can't let him find me. You have to protect me. Don't worry. We'll try to help you as much as we can. 
We won't let that guy get you. Thank you. I'm sorry to intrude on you like this. Anyway, you're safe here now. We'll take care of you while we wait to get the police involved. At the very least, we should get some clothes for her. We can't have her sitting around naked. Anita, do you have something we can dress her in? Yes, there's a dressing gown in my room. Okay then, we should go get that. Wait, what about her? We can't just leave her alone. Someone should keep an eye on her, just in case. This could turn bad no matter what. Millie may decide to make another save point. You can see that this was a major branch, and his choice may have some... ...propsible recourse in the future. But Manly didn't care. Because to Manly, these were people who were just pawns in the game of life. Just like he was. And he was gonna play... ...to his satisfaction. So I think I'm gonna stay and you go. You go and get something for a wear, I'll stay and keep watch. Okay, I'll be right back. Anita disappears out of the room, leaving just me and our surprise guest alone. Don't worry. We won't let anything bad happen to you. You're perfectly safe as long as you're here. And where exactly are we? Oh, this is Anita's house. Her parents aren't around right now, which is why I'm here to keep her company. I'm a friend of hers from school. We go... How did you get the painting? That was a... It was Anita's dad. He got it from some auction about a week ago, I think. A week, huh? Is something the matter? Something doesn't feel right. I think I'm beginning to remember. I stared at her intently, giving her space to concentrate. After a brief pause, she continued. Her words catch me off guard. I think you are in danger. Oh? It's all a lie. We need to get out of her. Get out of here. <laughs> I, d I know it's a typo. Get out of here as soon as we can. You can help me, can't you? Hold on, I don't understand what you're talking about. The other world behind the painting, I saw them. That's where he's been keeping them. Who? The girls. They were put in about a week ago. Your friend isn't who she says she is. Her family has been kidnapping vulnerable women all this time. That's not true, I can't believe it. It's true, think about it. You said Anita bought the painting last year- Brought the painting here last week. In that time, whilst I was trapped in the other world, I've seen other women thrown in there too. Could just be your dad doing it. There's no other way for them to get there. That painting is the only gateway into that world, and your friend had it the whole time. That's crazy. That can't be possible. Panic suddenly spreads across the woman's face. She presses both hands against the sides of her head as if to keep it from exploding. You don't understand. You must believe me. We are in great danger. They must have been doing this for years. What makes you say that? Look, I've known Anita for years, and I just don't picture her doing the things you're claiming. That's because she'd be keeping the truth from you. You can't trust her. She didn't tell you about Hannah, after all. There it was. A moment where I could no longer ignore her words. My heart sank at the mention of my sister's name. How do you know that name? The other world is like a desert. It's vast and desolate, but there are others lost wanderers trapped. I remember one traveler there. A little girl. She said her name was Hannah. I feel a lump in my throat and her eyes. My eyes well up. I never expected to ever hear news of my little sister ever again. Hope gripped my heart and hope was exactly what I was afraid of. She told me about you, Rachel. Now I know who you are. She adores you and always believed you'd be able to save her one day. But she also told me about the one who made her disappear from her world. It's all coming back to me now. Her name was Anita. She was a friend of her sister, but she betrayed her. One day, she waited for Hannah after school and led her away to a forest. That was where her family had ambushed and kidnapped Hannah. She's trapped in the painted world ever since. I'm sorry, Rachel, but your friend is evil. Who do I trust? And now she has both of us inside our house. We need to get out of here quickly. At that moment, the bedroom door creaked open. Anita emerged. Sorry I'm late, guys. It took me forever to go for my mess. I'm such a klutz. She paused, only just detecting the tension in the air. I kept my back turned to her. Unless these are all just like weird shadow beings that are just mimicking other people. 
and like just trying to convince us, like, let us all out. Let us into your world. Guys, what's going on? Tell me, Alina. What took you so long? What were you doing? I was switching something for the woman to wear it like you asked me to. Was it all you did? Seems like an awfully long time for a simple task. I said I'm sorry, alright? Is that what this is about? Are you mad that I took my time? Although Nina did act like... Did, did, did I say like... Did she say like how she got there? And so maybe, maybe she is guilty? Who knows? And what about the painting? Did you really get it from an auction? Ooh, new face sprite. Yes, I already told you where it came from. Why are you asking me all this? The woman. She remembers something. All the girls that's been disappearing. She said your family are responsible. Wow, we're just coming right out with it, aren't we? You've kidnapped them. What? That's a complete lie. Why would you say that? So you deny it. Of course I deny it. Why would you even believe this stranger? You know me. I would never do anything like that. What about Hannah? Suddenly the anger wiped off Anita's face. Her skin turned pale. I could see in her eyes she was keeping something secret from me. There was no denying it. Tears started to stream from her eyes. I couldn't stop myself from crying too. Oh my god, it's true, isn't it? You did something to her. No, no, it's not like that. Rachel, I don't understand. Why are you talking like this? You've been hiding something about Hannah, haven't you? Don't try to deny it. I can just tell from looking at you. Tell me what happened to my sister. Okay, it's true. I saw her. I saw Hannah. I was probably the last person to ever see her. The day she disappeared after school, I was heading over to a friend's place and took the scenic route near the old forest. That was when I saw Hannah. She was wanting by herself, so I went over to check if she was alright. She was in a gloomy mood and wanted to be alone. Looking back, I know it was the wrong thing to do, but I let her go into the forest alone. I knew when I was done, I didn't want to be around anyone either, so I just left her. After she went missing, I just felt incredibly guilty. I could have stopped all this from happening if I just stayed with her. I know it's a shitty thing to do. You left her alone in the forest. Why did you do that? Don't you know how irresponsible you were? I know, I know, stupid, and I never forgive myself for it. Rachel, I'm so sorry. I should have been there for her. I wish I could take it all back. Why didn't you tell me before? You kept this all a secret. The police could have done something if you told them where you saw her. I know it wasn't right for me to keep that secret from you. I really did mess up. You were going through so much. I didn't want us to come between us. I was afraid you'd hate me. God knows I hate myself for it. I never want you to find out this way. It was incredibly selfish of me, I know. I've lived with the kilt every day. Every time I looked at you, I felt regret, and I hate myself more and more. But that was my punishment. I had to live with the choices I made. All the crap I've been feeling is all I deserve. I'm just so, so sorry, Rachel. I didn't mean to hurt you like this. She's trying to trick you again. Don't be fooled. You caught her in her own lie already. You must see that she's hiding something more from you. Is this Ace Attorney? Ace Junji Ito, Painting Attorney. So that is it then. No more lies. This is what really happened. Yes, I promise you, you have to believe me. Da 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 da. Making the save, gotta go to the next page? Is there a next page? You know, I don't think there's another page. Let's not trust her. I thought you were my friend all these years and you said what happened to Hannah. You, you didn't tell me. That kind of information could have helped. It could have saved her. But you refuse to tell anyone about it. It just doesn't make sense. It's as if you didn't want her to be found. Bra bra bra. Rachel, no, that's not true. Yes, it is. Rachel, you see through her lies, don't you? I do. My sister's gone because of you, and maybe you planned this meeting as a way to kidnap you as well. I just don't know you anymore. Well, Nidako pushed us in the painting when she had a chance, so that one ending. For all we know, this woman is the one who pushes people in the painting. She actually got pushed into it herself. Like karmic. Your friend is only a part of the Sinister operation. Her family's plot already claimed many victims, including your sister. You must stop that from ever happening again. Silence fell over us. Tension ran between us like electric. 
Then within a heartbeat, Anita spun around and darted for the door. She mustn't escape. None of what she's done. Without a fun, I sprang after her, grabbing her shoulder. And he whipped around and swept a nailed claw across my face and red flashed in front of my vision. Rage bowled up inside of me, and he looked back in terror. I lunged forward and tackled her to the ground. All anger has been bottled up inside of me for all the days weeping for my missing sister. I focused them into my fist and directed towards Anita. Tears filled my eyes as I pinned Anita down and bashed her head against the floor. Over and over I beat her head down. I didn't realize I was screaming all this time until making only sound. Maybe Anita's innocent based on this ending. The tears drained from me and I could finally see clearly again. I looked down on my hands soaking in blood. On the crimson trail I saw my gaze on Anita. Her face was covered in red. Her stare fixed on something far away outside of our existence. She remained still and breathless. I've killed her. What have I done? Only what you needed to. The mysterious woman appeared over my shoulder. There was no other way. You saved us. You saved all the would-be victims of her family's schemes. She will not harm another soul again. Your sister would be proud. What do we do now? I just killed someone. My life is over. You must get rid of the body. How do we even do that? There's nowhere we can put it. There is a way. Inside the painting. What? Think about it. No one else knows of its existence. We can dispose of Anita in there and all evidence will be erased. The painted world will be your tomb. Considering how she trapped others in there, this will be... Poetic justice. I nod, not meeting her eyes. I knew it was the only option left. I picked up Anita's lifeless body and I'll throw her through the painting. Then I witnessed a new phenomenon when the painting transformed once again. The painting canvas that had become empty overnight revealed a picture of Anita. There is that painting. All evidence of that night was erased. The only remnant of that incident was a new painting hanging on her wall. I don't know what happened to the woman. She seemed to disappear shortly after he put Anita through the painting. Maybe she ran away to be as far away from her as here as possible. Eventually the police were investigating when Anita was reported missing. They scrutinized even the events of that night. I didn't know what to tell them. I was no good at lying. Perhaps against my better sense of judgment. I told them the truth. I told them about the painting coming to life. I told them about Nina that had disappeared into the painting. I left out the part where I killed her. My answers didn't satisfy the authorities, of course. The case remained unsolved and I was diagnosed with severe mental paranoid. Paranoia? It didn't take long for them to commit me to an asylum. No matter how much I protested my sanity, no one believed me. There are times when I wonder myself if I dreamt up the whole thing, but those doubts never linger. How can I forget those red stained hands and the terror in her eyes? Maybe if you leave Anita there, she attacks you instead. Ending 15. Ooh, look at that big jump. Bloody hands. Went from like 1, 2, and now we're like at 15. I would just like... I would just 30 endings or something? Or 20? I don't know. <laughs> so let's try trusting her. I still can't understand why you did what you did. I don't know if I forgive you for it, but I trust you. Thank you, Rachel. I just want to. One day we will sell this properly. But right now there's something more urgent we need to address. Our drama can wait. I'm disappointed in you, Rachel. I told you she can't be trusted. Why do you go against my word? I don't know who this woman is, but she tried to turn us against each other. One thing is for certain. She's got evil intentions. We need to have each other's back. Agreed. Such fools. Ignorant to the end. You have no idea what you are dealing with. Well then, let me shed some light on that matter. Ah, oh, crap. The blink of an eye, the woman's demeanor completely switched. And I jumped out of my skin from the shock. Her sweet voice became coarse and venomous. The very sound of her words dissolved away any defiance. Her composed facade gave way to reveal her true self. A face of hate, anger, and malice. Piercing eyes stabbed daggers into my very soul. An unworldly sense of danger struck me. I have never witnessed hatred like this. So maybe they are they just weird painting beings. 
You think you have the power to defy me. You know nothing of what you're dealing with. You're just an insect, and insects cannot escape my grand designs. It wasn't clear before there was no mistake in how this was no ordinary woman. Countless generations of evolution in the natural world can never design something that exudes such an aura. It can only be described as evil. You will suffer such agony and the likes of which you could not comprehend. I will tear your flesh from your bones, rip out your tongue, snap your bones, stab up your eyes, and grind you to dust. You will beg for mercy, but there will be no end to the torture. When I am through with you, you will die a thousand deaths. The figure of the woman grew taller. Her shell stretched until it touched the ceiling. Her smooth skin folded in on itself, revealing rough scales. Gusting eyes opened up in ramped spots over her body where they did not belong. A smile too white for any human face displayed a set of sharp fangs. Right before her eyes, her elegant body melted away to a hideous monstrosity. A creature far removed from the gentle mask it wore before. As unreal as it was, I was living a waking nightmare. I see. Well, you're, uh, we're just beauty, all right. Would be too far off from a certain, uh, Kaguya from a certain game. I quivered at the formal sight. My whole world felt small in an instant. The creature let out a sharp hiss. What is that thing? Now do you see? You got no help denying me. It stepped forward in a challenging motion. What do we do? What the hell do we do? Um, first we make a save point. Then we, uh... This is gonna be stupid. Let's reason with it. I just was. It's a terrible idea. Let's see what happened. What's it that you want? I want your flesh. Run at them to me and you will suffer less. What do you mean? Do you want to eat us? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I wouldn't eat disgusting insects such as yourselves. This has nothing to do with eating. How? Oh. I told you, they're ever worldly beings. So Hannah was probably just another host. The time for talk is over. You will know soon enough. Please, we don't need to fight. There must be another way out of this. If you are looking to strike a deal, I have one for you. I only need one offering. Give yourself up so that the other may live. Well, goodbye, Anita. I don't see any way for both of us to get out of here. I mean, just look at that thing. It's a monster. How can the two of us stand against that? One of us needs to stay. I'm sorry, Anita, but it should be you. What? Why me? Listen, all this wouldn't have happened if your family didn't bring that painting home with you. You owe me big time. <laughs> I thought she was looking at walking garbage. I said I was sorry. What did I? I don't deserve this. I don't want to die here. Someone has to. It's the only way, Anita. Then why don't you do it? Why won't you give yourself up? Don't be selfish. <laughs> I'm not being selfish. You're the one who just decided that I should die. Well, I'm not giving myself up. Never am I. If you had made your decision and then present your offering to me. Yes, it's Anita. So be it. Anita's body is mine. And he ran for the door, but I grabbed her wrist before she could reach it. Wow, we're such a dick. The me, you psycho! The two of us wrestled for control, but it was a one sided affair. Dark tunnels came down from above and wrapped around Anita's limbs. She was restrained. The tentacles were like snakes constricting a prey. Anita screamed. I saw fear in her eyes as she pleaded with me. I looked up at the creature. It didn't seem to even notice me. All its interest was focused solely on Anita. It returned the monster, promised me my life, and true to its word, it left me alone. It was a difficult decision to make. As much as I despised myself for it, I knew that it was pointless to stay. The creature didn't look at me once I passed. Her expression indiscernible. As I exit the room, I glance back and see the door close behind me all by itself. The 
two of them are left by themselves. I can only imagine what the woman would do to Anita. Whatever sadistic ritual she must suffer, I was glad it was not me in her place. I walked out of Anita's house into the cold night. The wind howled and bared my body. Was I shaking from the cold or something else? The wave of emotions I felt it was hard to pinpoint what it was exactly. Was this relief? Or at least a pent-up stress built up all night? Or was this shame? I had a feeling I'll be wondering about this for the rest of my life. Overhead, a distant bird shrieked. The sky bright as dawn slowly breaks over the horizon. A new day has come, and life begins. With a hand covering my eyes, I walk my way home. Ending 17, Betrayal. We jump from 15 to 17. I'm curious what that big jump between like 2 to 15 was. 